all is. Uh -huh. Now, uh, the ability and willingness of the parent to foster healthy communication uh -huh. and contact between the, the child and the other parent. Uh -huh. Assuming yeah. that none of these factors clearly favors one parent over the other, mm -hmm. most courts tend to focus on mm -hmm. which parent is likely to provide the children a stable environment. Yeah. Now, with younger children, mm -hmm, this may mean awarding custody to the parent who has been the child's primary caregiver. Yeah. With older children, this may mean giving custody to the parent who is best able to foster continuity in education, neighborhood life, religious institutions, and peer relationships. <laughs> now, I know as that parent that um, did give my last name to my sons. Yes. I did actually work as a financial consultant at Washington Mutual. Mm -hmm. And when Heidi and myself decided to get married in Kosovo, yes, I was making approximately $20,000 a month. Pooch. Now, marrying a man that was making, well... $200,000 a year. Uh -huh. I thought I did a pretty good job caring for my sons. And then when we went through that foreclosure, yes, 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 we lost our home to foreclosure during the credit crisis where Chase decided to buy Washington Mutual at deep discounted prices. You know, when I looked at the actual takeover of Washington Mutual and their various properties, yeah. I thought Jamie Dimon helped himself to some, well, unappraised actual items. Yeah. Because usually you just buy the deposits of the depositors. Yeah. Maybe a few other assets that you can put a price on. Ooh. <laughs> but in the exigency situation of the credit crisis, yeah. I don't think they priced the actual properties what they should have been priced at. And then there's the artwork. Yes. Yeah. Having worked in the Port Angeles branch of Washington Mutual, yeah, Swim Washington Mutual and the Port Towns of Washington Mutual, mm -hmm. it seemed that banks like to invest in interiors and artwork, yeah, and then there's the actual machines that do the work of banking poop. Now, I thought that somebody in the banking community wanted to obstruct my rights as an American citizen, yes. And had paid X number of dollars for the shows, yes, through the Port Townsend Swim and Port Angeles branches of Chase Bank. Poof. Could you get me every employee of Chase that has any knowledge of my wife uh -huh, being given custody of my sons, yes, when she never worked a day of her life while married or while being married to her previous husband? But she was a good homeschooling mother, yes. Very frugal, was she? Pooch. Now, I'm going to want to sue Chase Bank and any and all employees that have any knowledge of the intentional bribery and corruption of my rights as a father. Yes. And if I find out that Jamie Dimon, yes, facilitated the payments of any of the shows, Jamie, boo -boo, I'm going to want to buy back Washington Mutual's assets for what was paid during the last credit crisis. Okay. Now call Jamie and find out exactly what the fuck he knows right now. Because I thought that somebody wanted to make it seem like I was crazy for not knowing what was going on, coach. Now, as a parent, yes, I really feel that my rights are being violated, yes. Now, are mothers more likely to be awarded custody over fathers? <clears throat> In the past, most states provided that custody of children of tender years. I sent you an email about violating my right to the tender years of my sons. Yeah. Uh, had to be awarded to the mother when parents divorced. This rule is now rejected in most states. <laughs> Could you just call the state legislature and the whole thought of protection orders and child custody being paramount Ooch. to the actual show because I'm wanting to sue the state legislature and each and every state's legislature <clears throat> for the knowledge of having my sons uh, enrolled in school two years uh, behind their peers so it made it look good that they were doing so good in school. Ooch. Now, six foot three, is it 228 pounds, Zachary? You're going to be 17 next month? Yes. 
as if I should be worried about the actual size, the height of my son. You know, as soon as I can get these laws enforced, Zachary, mm -hmm, I'm thinking I'm going to pull you out of school, yes, and I'm going to make you catch up, okay? <laughs> now, you should be graduating in June of this year, and you've got a lot of work ahead of you, don't you? <laughs> because you've been slacking for the last seven years and four months. <laughs>